in this session we can discuss about biotic divisions of the sea based on the physiological condition and the organisms present marine environment is divided into two zones they are pelagic realm or the open sea and benthic realm or the sea bottom and you can see in this image this is the bottom of the sea and this region is called benthic zone the water column the overall the total water present in the sea is called pelagic realm and it is otherwise called open sea so two realms one is benthic realm or benthic zone which is the floor and the water column is called pelagic realm or open sea this diagram gives more detailed or labeled image of the realms if you see this diagram the pelagic realm is divided into two areas one is called a neritic province and this is the area neritic province and an oceanic province the neritic province is the shore area towards the coastal side this is the shore area coastal area or towards the land area towards the shore and and the demarcation is the region till where it is 200 meter depth or from the land the till water column reaches 200 meter depth vertically that much area is called neritic province and the remaining area is called pelagic or re remaining area is called oceanic province so the water column or the water area pelagic realm is divided into neritic province and that is the shore area the water present on the shore area it will be more nutritious and it is blended with the coastal area and the remaining area is called oceanic province vertically if we see this water column the oceanic province is again divided into epipelagic zone mesopelagic zone bathypelagic zone and abyssal pelagic zone so the oceanic province vertically or this is the huge water column oceanic province represents the water column of the sea and which is vertically divided depending on the depth from the surface up to 200 meter it is called a epipelagic zone up to 1000 meter depth it is called a mesopelagic zone and up to 2000 meter it is called a bathypelagic zone and up to 10000 meter it is called a abyssopelagic zone and the end of abyssopelagic zone will be the floor of the ocean the epipelagic zone contain or within the epipelagic zone autotrophic plants can grow because light will pass till that region and so that region is called euphotic zone in epipelagic zone up to 80 meter it is called euphotic zone and from 80 to 200 meter it is called dysphotic zone in euphotic zone maximum light energy is there and in <coughs> dysphotic zone only limited amount of light is present so pelagic realm contain neritic province that is the region towards the shore and an oceanic province that represents the water column the water column has zones like epipelagic zone mesopelagic zone bathypelagic zone and abyssopelagic zone the second realm is called benthic realm and this benthic realm represents the shore area the total shore area or the floor of the sea and we can see this the benthic realm is divided into two zone a littoral zone and a deep sea zone littoral sea zone or littoral zone is the region where mixing of the nutrients will happen with sea water and till and the and this littoral zone comes up to continental shelf the the, the gradually tapering region of sea is called continental shelf and the littoral zone represents the area from shore to this continental shelf and after that till the ocean floor it is called continental slope then the sea is steeper so the littoral zone is again divided into u littoral zone and sub littoral zone and u littoral zone is often having mixing of the nutrients from the 
shore and the sublittoral zone comes below the ulteral zone and then comes the deep sea zone. Deep sea zone is again divided into beta bathyal zone and abyssal zone and hadal zone. Bathyal zone, abyssal zone and hadal zone. And this is the zonation of sea depending on the living organisms and the physical conditions. And towards bathyal, abyssal and hadal zone, uh, we could rarely see the hot plants and towards the ocean floor it is muddy and that region we can see the mud dwelling organisms and this is the brief outline of a zonation of sea or the biotic division of the sea thanks for your patient listening